To power up the TWC, press and hold the power button for at least 3 seconds. It will turn orange. Once illuminated, reach around the back of the TWC and press the motor interlock button. So looking at the TWC display, we have tools. We have templates. We have jobs. Jobs is where you would actually put an item that was going to be calibrated. So you put those details in there and you can come back to that on another occasion. We now have settings. Settings is where you might have the calibration details and or certificate details. And then we have the power down switch. To create a template, press this icon. You'll see we've currently got no templates. We're going to press this tick. We can now add a template by pressing the cross. So we're now going to add our model number. Once we've entered our model number, we're going to press the tick. We're then going to provide a description. And again, we're going to enter the description. We're then going to accept this by pressing the tick. We now select the tool type. So we're going to take a type 2 class A. We're then going to select Newton meters. We're going to accept. We're going to start entering the maximum capacity of this tool. In this case, 100. We're going to accept. We're going to enter the minimum capacity of this tool. In this case, 20 Newton meters. We're now going to enter the tolerance. The tolerance in this case is going to be the factory default for the Norbar product. This is 3%. We're finally, the resolution needs to be applied. In this case, we have an analog display. And we know from this range that we're looking at one fifth of an increment. Smallest increment on this tool is one Newton meter. The TWC breaks this down and gives us a resolution of 0.2 Newton meters. We set the primary units. It could be the tool has two sets of units, for example, Newton meters and pound seat. We then need to look at attachments. If we've got an adapter, we would select this. In this case, there's a square drive adapter being used, so we would select the 90 degrees. We're now looking at selecting the end fitting. In this case, it's a fixed ratchet. Again, 90 degrees, and it's permanent. If it were interchangeable, we would select interchangeable and we would enter the center distances. Now we're going to set the ISO defaults. In this case, it would be the same as the display. So it starts at 20 Newton meters. So we're just going to accept this value. We can now accept this template. The template is now stored. We can exit from this screen by pressing the return arrow.